Hey, in this lecture, you're going to learn how to wrap items in Flexbox. So here we have our standard navbar. It contains three items, and each of them are just as wide as the content inside of them forced them to be. What I want to do now is target each of the items, and give them width of 300 pixels. As you can see, they now fill the entire width of the container. However, they're clearly not 300 pixels wide each. They're scaled downwards as the container is less than 900 pixels wide in total. However, if we widen it, here, as you can see, they become 300 pixels wide when the container is wide enough. So what happens here is that Flexbox won't allow you to set the width explicitly if there's not enough within the container itself to fill that content it'll automatically scale it down. And by default, it won't allow you to, for example, push any of the items down to the next row. And that's because Flexbox has a flex wrap property set to no wrap by default. It doesn't allow wrapping, meaning you can only have one row or one column along your given main axis. But if we change this to app instead, you can see that it now allows you to wrap the content because you have the home here, the search here, and when it tries to fit in the logout, it doesn't have enough room to add the item. So it wraps and puts it on the next line, the next row. And if we shrink the container even more, it'll wrap so that there's only one item in each row. Now the total width of the container is less than 600 pixels, meaning it can only fit one 300 pixel item on each row. However, if it has enough room, it fills up with as many items as it can on each row. Okay, so that was a quick intro to FlexWrap. I'll see you in the next lecture.